So now we've jotted down in our books all of this lovely information. And we're going to look at Alex here. It says, Alex says, I have shaded 2-2 two, two of the shape. What mistake might Alex have made? Well, we have 2-2 two, two here. You see there. And 2-2 two, two was a whole number. Has Alex shaded in the whole thing? It doesn't seem to. She seems to have only shaded in half of it, if we divide it in half, or how many pieces of how many pieces in total? Can you tell me? A half or two of how many pieces? Next page. This is quite a difficult one and I want you to guys to take some time because we've just learnt it and we have all the answers on this page here. Sort the fractions into the table. This is the table. Okay. These are the fractions they want us to sort. What do you notice? Are there any boxes in the table empty? Well, let's put them into boxes first to find out. So our boxes, we're going to look here first. All right. And I'm going to do the first one for you. Unit fractions. What were unit fractions? Unit fractions are anything with a one at the top. So where's our first one? Here. One third. Hey. So one third is a unit fraction. So would I write it here? Let's see. Is it here a fraction that's equal to a whole? Is one third equal to a whole? No. So it is a unit fraction, but it's a fraction less than one whole. So one third would go here. Okay. Where's our next unit fraction? Well, that could be this one because it's also got a one at the top. Now you have to tell me because we found the unit fraction this way. So now we look down this way. Is it this one or is it this one? A quarter. Okay, and you're going to write it into the right box. Then we're going to see non-unit fractions. Well, a non-unit fraction we said here is anything that doesn't have a one at the top. So something like a three at the top. Let's see. Well, it could be this one, definitely. 3 over 4, that's the same as our one. So we know that it's here. And then it says, so now we're working this way, so it's a non-unit fraction, but is it a fraction equal to one whole? Well, no, we know 3 quarters isn't a whole, so it would have to be here. Correct? All right. This has also not got a 1 at the top, so it could also be a non-unit fraction, but it's a whole number remember because it's over itself so it's going to go somewhere different we know it's a non-unit fraction but it's a, because it's not it's not got a one at the top and is it equal to one whole yes it is because it's two over two so i have put three in here for you then it says are there any boxes in the table empty so when you've finished sorting all eight of these numbers into a different box, see if there is a box empty and what number you could possibly put in that box to make the box correct. Okay. Guys, I want you to give this your best shot. If you don't understand, watch it again to see how I put the third here, three quarters here, and two over two here. All right? And then we will turn the page. Okay, Tommy has a jar of 12 cookies. He gives half of them to Alex and two-fourths of them to Mo. So we are going to draw our cookies again. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, these are the 12 cookies that we're going to see what half of them is. And then we're going to draw another 12 cookies this side. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, okay. And we're going to do two-fourths of them. 
So half of them, how do we write a half? Like this, right? That means we need two groups. Here we need four groups. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and here we need two. We're going to sort our 12 cookies into two groups, and then we're going to sort these 12 into four groups. Okay, but we're looking here for two of those groups, so we'll need the answer from two of the groups here, and we'll need the answer from only one of the groups here. And you can tell me what is the answer for each of these. Is it the same? And then we'll carry on with the rest tomorrow. So sort your 12 cookies into two groups. One, 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 one. Remember how we do it? Sort these into four groups. Tell me how many come from those two groups, because that would be two over four. And how many come from this one group, because that would be one half. And you'll find a very interesting answer. Okay, see you tomorrow.